Shakur Stevenson versus William Cepeda is happening since the WBC have ordered Shakur Stevenson to defend his WBC title against William Cepeda. But who would win this fight? Well, folks, about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances. And when Shakur Stevenson fought Edwin De Los Santos, in which it was a very boring fight, Shakur Stevenson was just running, but he still managed to all land Edwin De Los Santos, in which he ended up taking it by decision. Shakur Stevenson! After Shakur Stevenson went on to fight Artem, in which Shakur Stevenson took control of the whole entire fight, completely outclassed and outlanded Artem, in which he ended up taking it by decision. Now let's take a look at William Cepeda's latest performances, in which he fought Maxi Hughes, in which William Cepeda started off very fast, lasted on great combinations, put a lot of punishment on Maxi Hughes, in which Maxi Hughes ended up quitting on the stool at the end of round four. After this, William Cepeda went on to fight Giovanni Cabrera, in which both went back and forth, both had some great shots, until William Cepeda knocked out Giovanni Cabrera with a nasty body shot in round three. Body shot by Zepeda. He hurt her. He hurt Cabrera. Right on the liver. Cabrera felt that. Now here's the thing about this fight, this fight could be a very interesting fight and that is simply because it could be a very entertaining fight or it could be a very boring fight and that is simply because of both men's fighting style because if you look at William Cepeda with his record speaks for himself since he stands with a record of 31 wins with 27 of those wins coming by knockout so it's clear that he has the power and it's clear that he definitely looks forward to ending the fight early and we know this because in every single one of his fights he just looks forward to putting pressure on his opponents and if you look at Shakur Stevenson well he might not be the most entertaining fighter especially compared to William Cepeda but he definitely knows how to win a fight. So now how is this fight going to go it really just depends on Shakur Stevenson and not that much on Willem Cepeda and that is simply because we know that Willem Cepeda is going to come to fight no matter what since that is what he always does so it really just depends on Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson has shown the fans that not always could he put on a good and entertaining performance and obviously I'm talking about that fight against Edwin De Los Santos since every single time Edwin De Los Santos closed the distance to make something happen Shakur Stevenson would just run but then at the same time the fight before he fought Edwin De Los Santos he had to fight Yoshino and in that fight we've seen that Shakur Stevenson was always there to counter Yoshino and he was always there to let his hands go so this is why I'm saying that Shakur Shakur Stevenson could be really on and off with his performances. So in the end, I believe that if Shakur Stevenson can make Willen Cepeda feel his power early on, or if he can't hurt Willen Cepeda, then Shakur Stevenson is fucked because that means Willen Cepeda is just going to come and come and Shakur Stevenson will be able to do nothing besides stick and move and run. But let's give Shakur Stevenson the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he does end up landing some hard shots on Willen Cepeda. Well, even then, he's still fucked because Willen Cepeda is used to having a dog fight and he's used to taking punches. So it makes no difference. So I do believe that Willen Cepeda has a good chance at beating Shakur Stevenson.